Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Regalia of Men and Monarchs. We are two days away from our Kingdom Quest, and I think we're actually doing pretty well. Go ahead and look at our quests. That's hilarious. That is totally hilarious. So, filler, and then reward description. Um, the fuck? That's probably because we don't have anything selected, which is also hilarious. Uh, we have a bunch of completed stuff. We don't have any active stuff? Yeah, we have no active stuff. That's why they're giving me the lore of Ipsum. This should not have happened. In the year one, or possibly... Or possibly in the year 12? Depends how you read that date, right? Could be year, month, day. Um, that's the way I prefer to do it, but I can't do that at work because they would yell at me. At work, we do it the U.S. way, which is month, day, year, which I think is just so weird. Um, but anyway, if it's month, day, year, then on the year one, in December 3rd of the year one, um, got a lore of some quest. What the hell? I don't even understand. But anyway, I want to do Kingdom Quest. I want to look at Kingdom Quest out there. Okay, two days left. We completed a lot of these, so my guess is this is actually going to be done for Chapter 4 as well. Just a wild guess. We've got a lot of these done. Like in the interim, and they apparently stack, so we can just coast for a little while. We're not going to be able to coast for long, though. The crafting stuff, I have no idea why I can't seem to get the regular quality weapons done. Something's going screwy there, and I don't know what it is. But I guess we'll find out. Let's go ahead and... Um, are we going to spend the two days? I don't even remember. Oh, go into Pathfinder. That's right. We're going to go to Pathfinder here. Let's go to Miri. See what she has to say. Oh, no, wait. We can't actually upgrade her, can we? Hold on. Hold on. We can't upgrade our bond with her. Because she's not... This isn't upgraded, I don't think. Um, Let's look at the bonding screen really quick. Miri, how you doing? Yep, you're locked. Okay. So I shouldn't. How about you? You're ready to level up. Is Winter here? Yeah, she is. Okay, let's go to Winter. That might have been it. I might have totally forgotten. It's been a couple days for me. Sorry. Okay, so we can level up her bond. Let's do it. Hey, Winter. Hi there! You for some rock painting or what? Absolutely. We're going to spend some time. Let's do it. Probably craft trinkets. We do have a quest for that. Uh, we don't have very many gemstones at all. We have five gemstones, so we can flash one. <laughs> we can flash. We can spend, or yeah, we can buy like one. One trinket. I don't even know. Are these good? Thunder resistance, ice resistance, fire resistance, everything resistance. That's actually probably better. It's only two percent though. Initiative. Okay, well, the copper badge, maybe? I mean, the 5% is pretty good, right? If you know what you're going up against. Right, that seems to be the problem, is I don't know what I'm going up against. I guess we can do, like, the first battle in an area. We carry our inventory everywhere. So we do the first battle in an area, and then we do this. It's funny, the quest is for 10 regular items. There isn't actually 10 here. There's 6. So that's an issue. We'll just spend time. Let's really level her up. Painting, hiking, shooting ladders with Steve. You can hit the town if you want to, yeah? Okay, let's see if we get an actual cutscene. That's so hard to tell. Oh, we do. All right. I thought we were going to be emoting each well... other again. Well... suppose it's a nice view. She, want, she didn't want to hit the town. You know, you could skip your rocks. Do they like adventures? Are we supposed to go to the inn? Sure, let's do that. Now, about before... Don't you think the sea is tad overrated? Does that actually appear to the sea? Because it really looks like it goes to the river. Though I guess the river goes to the sea, right? Depending on the sea and the river. Don't you think the sea is a tad overrated? Um, The sea is overrated. I don't even know where to begin with that. So I'm going to go and ask a question instead. You don't like it? Huh? Not like that. If anything, I don't get the appeal. Well, yeah, there's no stones. 
Folks like to romanticize the sea and skies because they're alien to them. Meanwhile, all the fun and games, the wealth and variety, why it's all below their feet? They're standing on it right now. But elves are sailors, you know? We're kind of famous for that. Sneaky long ships in the mist, panic on the coast, brutal, brutal raids, people crying, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, lost track, not my point. What I mean to say is us kids have always been attuned to the sea, so when my kinsmen came for me, we really did knock it along. I guess you could say we had a rocky start. Eh? 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 No, eh. Okay. You returned to your coterie before then, huh? Ah, try forced to come back. Weren't you raised in a human village? Yes. Ma and Pa were really the best thing to happen to me. I don't remember much of my early childhood, but imagine it wasn't very easy for both them and for the villagers. Other miners didn't care, though. As long as you pulled your own weight, you were more than welcome. And I sure did, even as a kid. So what happened? Eh, uh, you know. Got the old black lung. Coughed it out. Good as new. Elven physiology, am I right? I'm gonna need a drink. Right. Well, there's a little bit of empathy. Emphatic? Yeah, emphatic. Emphatic mind meld that all else have, the Anam. Quiet at birth, and then you hit puberty, and suddenly you turn into a broadcasting station. You begin to hear people. And sure enough, they hear you right back. Um, that's actually horrible. As a teenager, broadcasting your thoughts to the world, that's possibly the worst thing ever, and that's normal for elves? That sounds awful. Wait, what? Can't do anything about it. Can't live with it. You just get used to it. Anyway, where was I? Wait a minute. This is what we're supposed to talk about at all, is it? I don't know. Getting to know you. Getting to know about you. In fact, no. I wanted to ask you about... Your hat. Your hat's fantastic. Nope. Okay. That's all we get. <laughs> all right. Oh, personal bond grew stronger. Unlocked a perk. What do we get? Outdoorsman, 6% to all distances, but it costs three that cost her out of control. That is totally out of control. Let's look at our Kingdom Quest. I wanted to make sure. Yeah, 10 regular quality current trick. We don't have 10. I mean, not that I could do it anyway. I don't have the gems. Okay, so we're on our last day. Let's see if how the Kingdom Quest roll over. What are we going to do this with? Um... The merchant? I have no idea. Do we just fish? We could just fish the last day, I guess. Look at our personal bonds and see who else we can do this with. Or no, actually, we should look at the calendar, huh? We got... The day is Songs Day. Griff might not be a bad idea. Um, Alice is there. Theo is there. Helping Theo get stronger... I don't know, our bonds are mostly... We would need to build up time, and we could totally do that. Chichi. Moon. Um, we could also build up more with her, but we don't really need to do that. I don't know, Griff's not a bad idea, but yeah, it's going to take time either way. Right? Because Griff's not ready yet. Yeah, but we need to get him to level 2, I think. So how many people do we have here? 1, 2... Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, one more. One more is all we need. So sure, why not Griff? Why not Griff, right? We're going to be with him for a while. Just seems to make sense. Can't build anything, so we can't spend time that way. No diplomatic missives. Let's just talk to Griff. Griff? Hey, dude. Last training session, brute fruitful. Shall we continue? Sure, we'll spend the day with Griff. Let's do it. Ah! Excellent. Ructus it is. And you know what? Kay could use it. I would hope there's our training swords. Okay, I was spending this day with Drith. We're not going to get a cutscene here. Well, I mean, this kind of counts, but... Did Kay just shoot Griff? I'm hoping that was a blank, even so. All right, here we go. So here we go. We reached the end of the chapter. How's that treasure thing going? Working on it. Good, good. What? You prove? And to think it's an unreliable cop out that lead us to abandon your kingdom at best? Ah! Uh! Of course not. Everyone loves money. Me, I sure did. Um, thanks, Kay, for the lampshade, though. I mean, that was totally my response when I found out about the treasure actually being real. If you try something funny, pow, right in the kisser. Can you actually punch things as a ghost? I guess you could. 
What could he do? We know we can inhabit objects. I'm very confused. Uh, let's see. Ah, that'd be swell. Anyway, during the last two months, you've achieved. Everything seems to be in order. Great success. That crucy fellow will be pleased. <laughs> I mean, he's got to be happy. His money's coming in, so that's good for him. Okay, what's next on the loose? On the loose? On the list, sir? What's up? Oh, here's Crucy. I did not realize he had an egg shaped Mr. head. Mr. Crucy, I wasn't told you were coming. My, how things change. Not that long ago, this place was but ashes and debris. Yet now, one can almost plant a foot without stepping in dung. He's saying the whole place was covered in dung before? Do we have a different idea of what ruins are? Because I think you might have been stepping into sewers instead. It's, it's very complicated. Mr. Crucy, you have done a commendable job cleaning the verdigree. People are settling in. A modicum of trade has appeared. The verdigree? Okay. You know what? You know what? I like it when media teaches me new, lord, new words. What I mean to say. Boy, my tongue is all tangled up today. All right. I'm going to look this up because I don't know what the hell a verdigree is. I think he's insulting us, but I'm going to look it up. Verde. Riss. But I actually say it, but it's how you spell it. Verdigree. A bright bluish green incrustation or patia formed on copper or brass by atmospheric oxidation consisting of basic copper carbonate. Okay, so basically he's saying you clean the rust off. Dude, speak fucking English sometimes, you know? Okay, but it's a fancy way of saying it, so good to go there. All right, so we clean the rust off. Not wrong. And you have rebuilt the castle and its surroundings in surprisingly adequate time, no less. Surprisingly adequate. Fuck you. We all try our best. Indeed, which leads me to believe I may have to reconsider my approach to your debts. Oh, he's totally going to step up the payment plan, isn't he? That's that's exactly what he's going to do. He probably wants the kingdom for himself, especially after the improvements we made. Like, fuck, man, I could be king. Easy. All I have to do is pu push out this interloper and got it. That's exactly what he wants. He's, what's he going to do? Unless he's actually secretly on our side. Oh? Your industrious actions made it clear that there was some unfortunate leniency in our agreement. Why are you upset? So the only reason why I'd be upset to be if I'm paying the reason why I'm paying him off is because I want the kingdom, but he wants the kingdom now. So that's why he's up in this. That's the only explanation. Unless he's secretly a dragon and wants to burn it all. I don't know. Therefore, henceforth. The furtive union shall triple your monthly installments. That's got to be illegal. Take it to the courts. What? Adversity brought great prospects out of this domain. Why lose the momentum? So we have no idea how big the actual debt is, but we know it's huge. And we know the payments are enormous if we're barely making it per month, but now we probably got to up from... Okay, so game-wise, we should up from being able to do five quests a month, or five quests in a chapter, to... It says triple, so 15? Is that even possible? I actually have no idea. If anything, it will help you repay your obligations faster. Yeah, it's also how not how payment plans work. Well... Okay, so clearly this is like a different type of usury altogether, right? Because typically you'd, you'd agree on... You agree on the debt. The payments are like whatever fraction of that debt that is. So why... The legality of this just, just, just baffles me. But Katie is not smart enough to go to a court. But I would think his sister would be. But, but, but this is madness! No, this is Regalia. Madness? This is business, Sir Kay. I like my answer better. I shall contact you again in three months. Do not disappoint. Wait a minute. 
He said three, but the text says two. Which is it? Farewell. AK, you gotta talk to your sisters. To your party. They'll know what to do. Take him to court. Oh, oh. Are you alright, Sonny? Um, no. Uh, Just so you know, I heard everything. I always do. Even when you bathe and snore. And when you, well, do everything else. That's disturbing on so many different levels, Gramps. Thanks for that. Uh... Quit blank facing me, son. Rise and smell the ashes. We have a job to do. This isn't the end of the world, you know. We'll adapt. We can manage. And maybe, just maybe, look into that treasure that sister of yours mentioned, huh? We don't even know if that's a thing. Yeah, yeah, but I'd still try. Uh -huh. In the meantime, like I said, we'll have to adapt. Treasure or no, time's a waste. You'll have to work extra hard now. You really lived in a better time, didn't you? Ah, in my time, things were resolved at sword point. And the only form of currency was a punch to the throat. Jolly good times indeed. I'm just trying to imagine how it would work in a marketplace. Take that chicken, um, maybe like that pile of hay over there, and you know what? That dress is looking great. Okay, so that's um, 15 punches and a kick to the groin. All right, let's do it. Doesn't sound like I would enjoy them anyhow. Uh, enough of this jibber-jabber. With what happened, I want you to... Seven. Okay, that's not actually as bad as I thought it was going to be. We've already completed a good chunk of those. And in 55 days, this is actually not going to be too bad. Uh, busier than usual. I did say we were going to work extra hard. So off you go! Fight the power! Or something. Fight to be the power, I think would be more appropriate. I need to talk to the rest first. Yeah, we need to talk to these guys and see what the actual fuck. And that's how it went. Ooh, the nerve on that man. What an outrageously unrepentant asshole. I swear, I don't know whether I want to murder or marry that bastard. Um, what? Yeah, uh, moving on. There's no guarantee he won't pull that off again. Either we work ourselves to death or choose to pursue some risks. Gambling? Horse racing? Excessively brutal gladiatorial combat to the death? What? No, I'm talking about that whole ancient family treasure thing. Oh, right. I don't know. Elaine, please elaborate on your plan there because I'm interested. It seems we have little choice. We must double our efforts. In the meantime, myth or no, we'll have to treat that treasure thing more seriously. Right. Still working on that. Nevertheless, we'll go deeper. Yep. If anything, Crucy's deeds prove you are doing something right, young master. Has he not told you that himself? You know, I'm pretty sure that was just to spite us. Also a possibility. Uh, at least those guys from the Unity won't pester us anymore. And a right on cue. Aha! There you are! People of Unity, assume the position! Yeah, you're a mob. Yes, Master K? Is there a god of bad luck? Why, yes. I believe certain regions of Minwei worship one. I feel like I need to subscribe to his newsletter. No more babbling. We're here on important business, yes we are. Yes we are is a little bit... I guess that could work into a chant. We're here for business, yes we are. She wanted to be the second part of that. Um, We're here for business, you won't get far. I don't know. It, it rhymes. Usually the biggest thing about a chant, it's got to rhyme. Bread. Gold. Coffee. Why the hell are you people here again? Haven't we done enough for you already? The voice of oppression speaks again! Oh, watch out, lady! Please, can't we all just calm down? Yes, we can. And yes, that's true. You proved a competent builder with that rebuilding effort of yours. Good job on that. He did. He did, you dolt. But this changes nothing. We won't be swayed by the government's blatant appeasement. You want more subtle appeasement. Okay, what do you got in mind? Yeah! Whatever that means! Isn't that exactly what you asked us to do? <laughs> but there is yet more to be done. 
You see, as a collective, we are not entirely convinced whether you can appropriately represent our ongoing goals and long-term interests. Someone's been hitting the thesaurus. What sort of long-term interests are we talking about here? Well, you know, bearer bonds, mutual funds, ETFs, you know, basically, you know, your basic long-term investments, 401ks, you know. You can build a house, that much is true. But can you build a consensus? So, she's a little fuzzy on the whole monarchy thing, isn't she? She wants a, well, a monarch republic? Is that what they're called now? Effectively, democracy through the people, and then, what, like a figurehead at the top? What? I'm talking about governance, lad. A community needs someone to pass judgment, someone to bring down law, a voice to resolve our disputes. She wants a judge. Are you a bad enough dude for that? Nah, I think not. Okay, who do you have in mind to appoint for a judge? You? Actually, she seems to be the smartest of that group, so maybe. So, if I understood it correctly, you want me to tell you what to think? No! Actually, yeah, that sounds pretty close to what I want, yeah. Come on, it's human nature. Don't you want to judge things? Not even a little bit? No. But I have a very important issue that needs solving! So do I! Yeah! Even though I'm an able adult, I'm going to stand here and complain loudly until someone gives me a solution! Okay, so I realize you need to hit that nail as hard as you possibly can. You need to drive it in. But perhaps a little bit too much on the head of that nail. Alright, alright, I'll do it. Ugh, that's great. Because... Purely by accident, of course. We have a case just for you. Is that the only reason why you came here in the first place? Way to get no respect, Kay. Hey, cut me some slack, will you? It's not like I'm in a position of power that will enable me to actively gain their... Oh. <laughs> May right. I? Um, please do. Out there, there's a damn huge patch of contested land. It's an arable gold mine waiting to happen. Waiting, mind you. It isn't being used. That's stupid. Why? There must be monsters. That's the only explanation why someone wouldn't be exploiting the hell out of the gold mine. And even then, that's not going to stop anybody for long. Why is that? Uh, you see, there's a problem with ownership. Two rival families claim to have settled the land long, long ago and both treat it like their own. So, the dictatorial response, which occasionally my, my lesser self, that's all it, is a fan of, is to kill both families, wipe out their entire lineage, and then claim the land for your own. Right? Isn't that what most dictators would do? What would an actual king do? What would Solomon do? King Solomon might do the same thing, actually, depending on where he is in his day, right? Every once in a while he'd be super wise, and other times, horrible, horrible person. Depending. If you read the Bible, you can see that kind of dichotomy there. Um... But King Solomon on his best day, what would he do? Tell them to work together and split the proceeds of the mines, you morons. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? The end result is nobody really uses it. Junk is flying high and low, folks refuse to listen, and good lands are wasting. That's not good at all. Well, yeah, mine would, would make this into a boom town, like a literal boom town. Let's do it. Anyhow. This is where you need to lay down the smackdown, Mr. Lauren. This dung's been going on for far too long. You should meet with them and talk some common sense straight into their heads. Does she mean with swords? Because I'm also kind of a fan of that. Here, I'll show you on the map. What makes you think they'll listen? You're the fat cat here. That's your power, your mojo. Also, we tried to get a Shadurian philosopher to talk sense to them, but it ended in a tar and feather treatment. He screamed like a little girl! Or so I heard. Well, that's it. Good luck, you! People of Unity? Wait, I still don't know- well, in fact, I don't know anything at all! Just go there and be kingly. Let real life sort things out, you know? Like your grand somethings. People of Unity? Roll out! I should drop this problem on my lap, you freaking useless pieces of garbage. Mark my words, this is not the last time we've heard from them. The noose tightens. Again. But if it is a gold mine, and we work out that little problem, then it seems like as part of that, we would get some of the proceeds which help pay off the debt, theoretically. Complete quest the feud. I think we should do that first. 
Hey, will of the people, right? Time to get to work. All right, let's see how many of these quests we've actually got done now. I think we actually did pretty well, but... Let's see, so it's not checked off, so we haven't done seven. That'd be crazy talk, but... <laughs> we only need one more. That's great. Okay, we need to make sure to keep up this momentum, though. It's not going to last forever, right? 54 days left. One quest we need to do here. We actually have the fishing thing. We don't have the catching 10 regular... Ah! Arg, 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 I say. Arg, arg, arg. We're really close to Buddy Status with eight people. Uh, if Griff just loosens up for a bit, we can totally get there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Let's do that real quick. We should also do the diplomatic missive, because what the hell. Okay, here we go. Princess Guide. Looks like we have two of them. Okay, Princess Guide. Here we go. Someone, we won't say who, walked the scroll in a number of numerous, increasingly smaller containers, almost to the point of comical paranoia. By Lord Loren. I'm writing this not out of some petty self-interest, but out of the sense of duty to the noble institution that you represent. While I cannot be considered an impartial part of this matter, I implore you to wage your following course of action carefully. It's hard to put into words this curious twist of fate. Perhaps a brevity would be the most prudent approach here. Yeah, you've already missed that, Mark. Keep the long story short, I have found a rather unusual foundling hiding in my study. A young girl, but not just any girl. She is Her Royal Highness Wilhelma, Princess of the Kingdom of Lord Amar, second daughter of the incumbent King Rano... Rano... Rano? Ralnol. Ralnol the fourth, I think. Or Ralnol in. Really bad hat around here. This child barely fit to me age here, and she wants to learn magic. Magic from me. I have no idea how she ended up here in Rashitel, nor what were her reasons for escaping. She remains very tightly left about these things and very, very stubborn to boot. The fact of the matter remains, however, that she refuses to go back to Lornamar, all the while begging me to become her spellcasting teacher. While I acknowledge her right to self-determination, my conscience did not allow me to decide by myself on this matter. Especially not when national politics are at stake. I have discreetly made contact with a friend in the Exurate of Shadu, a well-established researcher at Leon Sonnet. Should you decide to agree to the young lady's wishes, my friend will be able to take her in permanently and without any unnecessary questions. Regardless of your ultimate decision, I have complete trust in your judgment, my lord. Forgely, Tamika Folatena, and Chatrishavol Golson. Why the hell is this my problem? I guess because she's technically on our land. Look, I would love to do the whole Shadu thing, but we've really kind of gotten in bed with Lordomar here. Let's not fuck that up. We could play both ends against the middle here. We could try to be very, very neutral. But if we try to be neutral, then um, we're going to lose out on all the reputation bonuses we're not going to get anywhere, basically. I mean, not that the... I don't know, I really like the, the current buffs we have. I do not want to lose any standing right now. Send her back to her parents. She's only 16. I mean, that might be of age here, but I'm going to say that's not of age in my world. You have to be at least 18. So you may not like it, but your parents know what's best for you. Ship her back. All right. With rushing ore. Dear Lord Lawrence. I am writing to you from the village of Inja's Rest. I doubt you would have heard of us. We are but one of many river settlements on the way to the Biting Sea. You know the type, I'm sure. It's all about who has the biggest mill around. Okay, I'm sure that's an innuendo. I just don't know how. Anyway, back to business. An elven ship was spotted near the other villages far up to the stream. Problem just to go into high alarm. However, here's where the tales get weird. Apparently, this particular coterie, they call themselves the Elkart, I believe, insists on methodically approaching each individual village along the river course. Not for the purpose of raiding, too, but for striking some nonsensical deals. And believe me, I'm dead serious when I write it's nonsensical. Who in their right mind would want to trade for cobwebs and a ball of twine? Anyone who's dealt with any adventurer ever has to have come up in this world. Here we don't even know what to think anymore. While these elves haven't done any harm, yet, all these weird exchanges make me worry even more so than if they had actually attacked. It's just crazy. And how does that make any sense? The elves are raiders, killers, butchers, what do they even need that junk for? Can you help with this, my lord? Right now, all I hope for is that this message can reach you before their ship approaches and just rest. We'll do whatever you deem appropriate. In either case, I pray this won't come back to bite us in the ass. Best, Farmer Melhoon of Inge's Rest. Okay, well, we've been siding with the elves. Allow the Elkhart to trade freely for oddities. 
Yeah, I guess. Sure, why not? Otherwise, we're siding with the dwarves. We've already decided to side with the elves, so let's just do that. There we go. Okay. Let's meet with Griff, assuming we can. We should be able to spend the day with him. Expect to oversee a peace talk between two families. Interesting. Not to spare young master. I'm quite sure we'll handle it without complications. I don't have a bad feeling. Oh, I can't, actually. Okay, well, let's just do, go do the, the family thing. Let's go. I'm um, sure. Take Griff. Great justice. Come on, baby. Light my fire. Oh shit! Did we not get? I totally forgot to get Henry to his crossbow. Actually, did I? Did I? I don't know if I did. Hold on. Um, maybe I did remember. Please tell me I remembered. Yeah, that's the that's the new one, right? This is the new one right here. Okay, good, 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 good. It says common, but... Yeah, okay, the hand crossbow is the starting one. Well, obviously we're gonna move the Arya. That makes total sense. Okay, no, now we're good. We can take her with us. We have no idea how she does or what she do does at all, but we'll see. So... For Lord Amar. For great justice! Come on, baby! Light my fire! So, Gren is interesting. I don't know... I don't know if I want him. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna need to pick him up. I'm gonna go Levant because every once in a while you need a tank. I hold the light. Signy. I think we're done with Diego. He's okay, but I'm not wild about him. Theo, I'm not good with at all. I mean, he can stun, and that's nice, but his damage output really sucks. Really, it seems like the full damage team we were doing before seems to be really working out. So let's go. We move now, yes? Go with Signy. All right, let's go. All right, so where's the story? Oh, the story thing's right here. Yep, the meeting place. Two feuding families are supposed to be here for negotiation. Let's do it. Let's go. Venture forth. All right, probably just a. Now it's gonna be a battle. Okay, it's a cutscene. Okay. What on earth? What happened here? This is disturbing. Proceed with care, young master. Looks like a. What's banquet. this? A rock of some sort? How do you think it got here? Perhaps it fell from the sky, disrupting the proceedings. Nope, that is totally a monster. Now you see the teeth? Don't you see the teeth? I don't think that was the case. There's something odd about this rock. It's the teeth. Uh, I finally managed to take a nap, and not a minute later, something comes out of the woodwork to poke me in the ass. Figures. Buddy, if that's your ass, we've got some discussion to do. Oh, hello there, little humans. Anything I can help you with? He looks like he's holding his head. Does he have a hangover? Whoa! By the gods! Are you a dragon? Actually, I'm an iguana. Once upon a time, I stumbled upon a smokehouse and ate too much bacon, hence my size. He's being sarcastic, isn't he? I recognize that tone anywhere. What the hell, guys? Of course I'm a dragon. What do they even teach you in schools these days? <laughs> so, anyway, what's up? Are you the one behind the wanton destruction here? Sure thing, boss. Those dudes with pitchforks came here on their silly wagons right on the doorstep of my home and shouted and argued and made a big stinking noise. I hate when they do that. My migraine starts acting up. So you ate them? Because that would be totally reasonable and maybe even solves my problem for me, in which case, thank you. So, I came out and politely asked them to move. Then they started shouting even louder. There might have been a rock or two, or ten, so I ate them all. Okay, so the dictatorial solution I proposed before? Totally not my fault, but it seems to have worked out in that way. Makes sense, right? Totally makes sense. How utterly vile! 
that too, but also it makes total sense. I know, the taste was terrible. This cannot stand, right, young master? What are you gonna do? Poke him with your sword that's even, that's barely worse than a toothpick to him? Young master? He's fainted. It appears my employer may have been frozen due to utter terror. Or shock, but terror is more likely. Hey, whatever floats your boat, as long as he's not screaming. Right, because now we know screaming will make him eat you. So, good survival there instincts there, okay? So, are you going to fight me or something? If not, I'm gonna ask you to leave. It's rude to interrupt a nap like that. You know, you're right, and we will actually uh, make this a preserve. We'll call this a national preserve. Um, if you give me your name, then we can totally name it after you. We'll give you like a good, what do you think, 10, 15 mile radius from right here? And it'll just be yours. Indeed we will. Have at you. Um, yeah, you should step in here. Oh, no. Wait. Hold on for just a second. Okay, good, good, good. I thought for a minute there they were going to launch me into a battle. But they did not. Young master? This dragon doesn't exactly strike me as evil. Don't you think he's a rather amiable fellow? Yes, I agree. He's eaten innocent people. Well, we don't know how innocent they were, but... Well, yeah, but... It doesn't seem like they were very friendly in the first place. Holy shit, K and I are on the same page. Do I need to examine my moral compass? I still say we slay him. Th that's a rather extreme measure. I'm standing right here, you know. You said that you asked them to move? Yup. I even tried chatting with that fancy tall-hatted fellow. That's how humans denote authority, right? By the size of their hats. Probably the fanciness of the hat, actually. The size didn't really matter, but the hat is really fancy. Then you know that person is... Eccentric, actually, that's what that means. So no. Anyway, he wasn't too thrilled. And then they started throwing rocks at you? Usually, I don't mind. This stuff happens all the time. For some reason. Hmm. When the news gets out, people will not take lightly to all this havoc. Yet what happened was a misunderstanding, and there's no need for further violence. I'm not saying what he did was justified, nor that it was reasonable, but allowing both sides to duke it out will end extremely poorly. Especially for Kay, who will likely get eaten. That is true. Well, what can I say? I can't deny I'm a grouch, boss. I just want to be left alone. Is that so bad? Okay, so my, like, royal preserve idea is totally gonna be the way this works out, huh? In that case, you need to work on your patience, Sir Dragon. What shall you do, young master? Well, we were supposed to negotiate, right? Then we will negotiate. I do not follow. So tell me, did you eat everyone? No survivors? Yes, yeah, someone must have made it away, right? There's no way you eat everybody. What? No. I'm a dragon, not a pig. I have my standards, thank you. If you're looking for those other fellows, you'll find them in a village over the hill. Short walk, pleasant scenery. Uh, my thanks, Sir Dragon. Let's go, Griffith. Okay, so it'll be... Probably be that the survivors are from both sides rather than only one side surviving. Okay, and this isn't voiced. How very strange. Thank you for coming here on such short notice. Honestly, we're afraid you'd run away. Don't mention it, sir. Tag and Bink. Oh, that's hilarious. If you guys don't know who Tag and Bink are, um, there was a comic book series put out by Dark Horse Comics, I think. I don't remember. Anyway, Tag and Bink were the names of two stormtroopers in the Star Wars universe. Well, it's not canon adventures, at least not anymore. That was totally canon back in the day. Um, Disney has since disavowed all knowledge of Tag and Mink, but they're basically the two worst stormtroopers in the entire Imperial Legion. Still hilarious though, if you can find, if you can find a, an archive or a graphic novel or something of their adventures, do it. Tag and Bink. It's hilarious, they're, they're fantastic, but anyway. 
You've had some compelling arguments. Excellent. So we meet here on behalf of Mr. Tag, Mr. Bink, and, well, the dragon. Name is Bakari. Okay. Hey, Bakari. Bakari. Probably. Well, you're supposed to pause for the apostrophe there. Mr. Bakari. As heir to la House Lauren, my tang, man. The previous lords of these lands, it falls upon me to pass the judgment in the case of the ownership of these lands. Judgment? What judgment? That we haven't already agreed that... You kicked me for a tag. It's in the face. Why are you... Please proceed. Well, then. Okay, so we get to actually decide, or... Okay, no. Mr. Tag, Mr. Bink, please proceed with your claims. Okay, so... Party by the table, Tag, Bink, and Bakari has a disposition counter, reflecting their willingness to reach an agreement from 0 to 10. This will gain support from certain parties and alien others. Each party begins with three disposition points. Thus, will reach an agreement and proceed with the game. Each party will need to maintain at least seven points till the end of the proceedings. Throughout the negotiations, Gwyn, Elaine, Griff will offer advice. As the tips will often contradict with each other, it's up to you to make the final call. Also, other less readily apparent ways to win the negotiations, as well. Discover this by yourself. Keep your eyes and ears open. All right, let's see what we got. Up here to at least seven, huh? My land. Are you saying something, Tag? Nah, just go on. My family has been tending these lands for ages. Ages! I was there when the first huts were constructed, you know? You were there, specifically? And you, don't you mean your ancestors were there? Yeah, bad wording, sorry. We were there first. I refuse to let go of a premium, premium patch of land, be it to my neighbor or a cranky dragon. Mostly because, you know, it's mine. No offense. Hmm. Well, Miss Chag, what's your take on this? Grant tells me these lands were hit pretty bad during the Crusades. When we moved from Rantalus, it was just wild, untamed soil. Nobody was around. So we took it as our own. You see, Grandma used to serve with the Rantalian Vipers, so she uh, knew how to tame the land. Rantales Rantalesian Vipers? Mercenary company. Fabulous. Poisoners, I'm told. And, um, unseemly family tradition. Not really a dinnertime topic. Still, the land cared for many, many decades. Imagine my surprise when Tag's family came and knocked and saying we should step aside. It was our property, Tag. We haven't Really settled the hot extract of land. That plot's being wasted out there, no matter how you look at the facts. Yet she left it behind her in the Crusades. Eh. What was the purpose of these festivities? Well, we wanted to solve it once and for all. I guess, yeah, in a sense, that'd be nice to reach an agreement. I mean, we're civilized people, right? We both have a history here. Arguments like these help no one. Like, I don't want to move, ever. Neither does my family. I don't think that'll, that'll change. But it'd be nice to have some decision to hold on to. I mean, it'd be nice to validate ownership. But I said, yeah, somewhat. I don't get it. You're willing to part with the land. You weren't willing to part with the land, nor to move out. Yet you still willingly organize a celebration very specifically to negotiate the issue? Well, um... Surely you wanted to hand it over to me. I think the word we should all really focus on here is negotiate. And then came Mr. Bakari. Yeah. Wasn't a pretty sight. He munched a third of our guys. Look, I'm sorry, right? There were loud, obnoxious, disrespectful. Why do you guys have to scream so much? Think I enjoy eating the fat and the old? Just saying. What's your claim then, Mr. Bakari? Like I said, just want some peace and quiet. I'm an old lizard, folks. If you leave me alone, great. I'll leave you alone, too. I don't care about your shenanigans. But our kids? What about them? Or what about them? I mean, I'd be afraid an um, imposing gentleman like you would turn them into a midnight snack, you know? Eh. I've been talking about this. It's a dragon, and this dragon... Stop kicking me, Tag. Okay. Take it slow, young master. Probe them out. Build up their goodwill. Remember, judgment is not like haste, says Griff. Show them what you mean well. You know that we're all in this together, says Elaine. This is a landmine. With or without a dragon in the equation, tread carefully. Okay. Not sure what I should do here. Okay. We need to work together. That dropped everyone's disposition down. It's for the way we came here. Okay. We don't need platitudes, we need action. Come now, Bink. You come now, Bink. My, I haven't spent centuries here to be fed on glib words. Okay. Centuries? What do you mean? Just to merely turn a phrase. Yeah, okay. This guy is a vampire, isn't he? Or some immortal? Alright then. 
You can sell them to share the profit. I'm not wild about that. The dragon is not going to be wild about that either. Okay. Need to raise up Bink somehow. Need to know more. Before. Like we mentioned before. Bink's ancestors were original owners of the surrounding patch of land. War chased them out. My family moved in. Both of those were ages ago. It's his home as much as mine. Most of mine. Consider this. It's been generations. Can you really just tell all my folks to pack up and leave? We're not some squatters. It's our toll out there, you know? Don't want to move if I don't have to. What? No shouting. Are you right? Poor little loud noises. You're right next to his mouth. Right. Hope you get my meaning. These people have to live door to door with a dragon. Shouldn't you address that first and foremost? Agapel is a rather meek guy, isn't he? Very impressionable. Perhaps we could use that to our advantage. Yeah, he does seem very impressionable. It's already up a bit. Okay. Mr. Bakari, any additional output? Input here? Like I already said. No, he isn't. Huh? Never mind. Oh, he's not the oldest. Oh. Shrek didn't say they've been around here for the longest. Bink says no. Truthfully, I've only been using a small portion of the lock for my lair. What do you mean? Traditionally minded dragon, I prefer a good old spacious cavern if I can get one. What use would I have for arable ground? You've eaten some people, though. Give me back a decent, quiet corner to nap in, I'll be more than happy not to pick you know, human bones from my teeth anymore. You prey on our sheep? Nonsense, I'd never do something like that. Let me think. Our sheep have been vanishing for a better part of the year. When they do crop up, they appear drained of blood, and that's not you then? I mean, do dragons drink blood? Not really, we're not big on soup. Any proof of that, though? Really? Look at my teeth, and look at my size, and look again, and again. Yeah, he's not going to get that big just on feasting on blood. No, it's totally bink. Alright then. Why would anyone attack your sheep? Bink is not loving this. Why does the psychopath need a reason? I heard a story about a guy who used to brew marrow cocktails. No reason, all because it was kooky. Why are we even discussing this? He's way down. Damn it, dragon, not dragon, however. How is this relevant to the topic at hand? Let's talk about the contested patch of land. Why are you being so defensive? Not being defensive, this is getting ridiculous. Hope you're not trying to suggest anything here, Sir Lauren. Okay, we can't accuse him of anything. You always been this pale, Bink? Yes, damn it, I've always been like this. What are you getting at exactly? Nothing, just uh, thinking out loud. Okay. Focus on what's truly important. That raised everyone up, so that's good. You're here. Okay. Fine. You were saying? Ooh, doesn't matter. Just the impossibility of making a session on the topic of the contested ground. Okay. Yeah, so it's all or nothing for you, Mr. Bink. Are we here to negotiate? Everyone else raised up. You're wasting reserves of breath and goodwill here. Stop judging me. No shouting. Right, well, look. We're getting nowhere with this, Bink. I'm gonna stop interrupting. My turf, my heirloom. It's not my fault I was forced to flee. What was I? Sorry, were we supposed to stay and get burned on stake? Anyone to leave the land behind, given the circumstances? Is it wrong that I want it back? You're saying your position is non-negotiable. No, I'm saying, or rather I'm trying to say at least, if you want to deprive me of my memento of the good old days, I need to hear a reasonable offer. Or you know a matching one, at the very least. In money? Maybe, even if it's a bit simplistic. Yeah, easiest way to offer remuneration for your right to the land. Yeah, what exactly do you want? Hmm, he didn't go up at all there. It's an option. I kind of like the estimation of the value of the plot. Let Mr. Bink fund Mr. Tag a vacation trip to the Dead West. Tag has vended plenty of time and sold to have an old patch of land. Perhaps it could be measured to judge value. Take a small monthly share proportion of the income from the land. Maybe. Kind of a fiefdom kind of thing.
Mr. Bink isn't being his best. Not happy with mere financial amends. Treated as a last resort. Probably right. How does one estimate value at a time like these? Subject to money tends to alienate people. You're not wrong about that. Okay. Yeah, so we got to leave the money solutions off the table, I think. Tag and Bakari are up. But Bink is not having fun here. We could do the r and &R. I don't know what to do. Do this one. Bakari is totally up. Tag dropped, but Bink did go up. Trying to kill me? That's basically a death sentence. Not if you run fast enough. But, but bring it true, relax. Still the issue in room, Mr. Bakari. Some I doubt a simple please leave me alone will work. Don't trust you. Don't worry, the feeling is mutual. I'm somewhat concerned too. I'm lying to say if I was surprised. Okay. Ooh, I kind of like that. The issue is noise. Oh, let Mr. Beckery protect the land exchange for personal space and solace. That's a good idea. Yeah, Tag went up for that. Bink went up for that. Yeah, we're good. How tiring. Seriously, was there no other idea in there? Certainly is a decent, decent attempt to compromise, though. What do you guys think? And... Mr. Lauren, well, is he cutting it? Not even close. Come on, you guys are so close here. But do the old-fashioned way. No, 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 no. We're gonna try this again. We're gonna try this again. We need to not focus on Bink's vampirism here. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Yeah, yeah. So they're starting it over from scratch, and that's fine. Um, so we just need to negotiate here. So we'll choose different options here. So going the same idea. So it starts off the same way. So at least they let us do this again. It's kind of weird, but okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So tag has a actual an actual family, I guess. Bink probably has a bunch of I don't know vampire cohorts guys. I have no idea. Eventually, they'll get there. Okay, so. They need to learn more. I stepped on tag, but dropped Bink down. Okay. And then you consider make, make dropping your claims. Why, well, everyone else raised up except for Bink. Can't get more original order than me, but whatever. Look, you weren't there and you're talking out of your house. You don't know what this land means to me. A valid point of blunt. Raise him up slightly. It's going to be so difficult. And things would have been different without Mr. Bakri's output. That the meeting between your families would somehow solve everything. Really, what would change? Are we not discussing about it now? What well, exactly was different? your tag. Oh, great. How underwhelmingly meek. Okay. What would change your mind, Mr. Bank? Shit! What the fuck? I just want to know your terms. The fuck? No, no, no. I didn't mean to... S Damn it. Hitting things are random here and it's totally not working. Okay, well, nope, it's not working. Okay, what about if the protection of the land is not going to work? What about, yeah, just don't go near his property. Blink didn't like that. Tag is okay with it. But they don't like it. Nope. Not cutting it. But the Bink's just being a fucking... I hate it. I hate it. 
Bing's just being a jerk. And I realize he's a vampire. I mean, we just stab Bink. Can we just stab Bink and then we'll be totally fine? Then it's just a dragon and... The dragon and tag. Okay, we'll do this one more time. This episode is going longer than I thought. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yada, 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 yada. I hate having to do this the whole time. If she just give me the first... First option. So there's only one path to victory here. Or we just out bink entirely, but... Okay, so we've got to really just play to bink, I guess? Because he is absolutely being just unreasonable. Okay. Try to find the most just solution, maybe? Okay, bink likes that. Mine is right. All right. Bing makes me carlsley, but his claim seems valid. What makes you concede your rights? Bink really liked that, so we'll play to Bink. I'm his living generation. Okay, meeting would have been different, but nobody knows how. Okay. Okay, with him in a higher status. What about you, Mr. Bing? Would change your mind? Shit, he went down, but Tag went up, so that's good. Okay, getting nowhere. Non negotiable, not money, okay. Okay, some abstracts of money won't work here. Different kind of agreement. Bink went up, Bakari went up, so that's good. Bakari. Like what? The San Major Tax property is the only tiny part of the large unused hole. You take that hole, carve out a plot with the greatest historical or sentiment value, then hand it over to Mr. Bink. Or Tag will serve as Mr. Bink's personal butler. Tag won't go for that. Tag use full ownership of land. Mr. Bink will give him special rights and privileges. Use smallest to agreed upon tools and implements, whatever he wishes. Tag will probably pay a nominal price for land. However, once a year, be obliged to host a great feast for Mr. Bink's benefit. He was a vampire. Plenty of empty landmass to share. Maybe that's the way to go. I doubt the whole plot is consistent worth to him. That could work. Tag doesn't like it. What exactly exists to consist of historical value who decide that? Invite experts from Armalise and Lordomar. They know these kind of things. Sounds terrible. At the very least, terrible, terrible ones party specifically. Bakari doesn't like it. Another point of contention. The dragon. Right? Okay, so. I don't know. I mean, the whole kind of... I think they both like this one. Nope, Bakari didn't like that one at all. Tag and Bink did, though. Not gonna... Man, we came so close there. Erg. Okay, well... One more time, maybe. Damn it. It just takes so long to click through all this dialogue. And there's only one path. There's no... There's no alternate paths. You have to pick exactly the right thing. This is not... Not how games usually work. And usually the way you want to make a game is that there's multiple paths to victory. That's why chess is so successful. How many different ways are there in chess to win? Right? Or checkers even. You know? Something nice and simple like checkers. Or go. Go has lasted so long because there's multiple ways to win. But this, there's only one path. And you need to choose exactly what it is. And we're kind of just smashing it here. Okay. I didn't like that, but... Okay. okay money's not going to do it, so that's not going to work. Tag is less forceful to two neighbors. Easier to shut down of anything. 
Um, what would it take for you to finally move, Mr. Tag? Both Bakari and Bink like that. Tag didn't move at all. The generations. Right, okay. So, yeah, the big old meeting was going to do it or something. What holding that meeting change? Bink went up. Nothing. I believe something important was meant to take place here, but what? Yeah, what's with the whole... Ah, uh, shit. Tag was trying to poison the group? You trying to poison me? Not true, I swear. Primal tradition, those are your exact words. I don't doubt someone like you would have ready access to poison. This man ever tried to poison Bink? Oh, gods. You said to yourself you weren't really ready all that willing to power the land. You also knew that you had to stand no chance, forcefully or otherwise, in direct confrontation. You came up with the idea of the festivities, the peace summit. All under the guise of trying to reach a compromise. Oh, is that why the dragon's feeling ill? Oh, shit. The brilliant idea, really, a festival. Where else to poison someone without raising too many suspicions? You could hide anywhere. Food, wine, access can be lethal, right? Then everything went belly up. There was one variable you couldn't have predicted. One so utterly inexplicable, there was no way to solve it as the original plan. A dragon. I try. That's horse crap. We're in the middle of nowhere. If Mr. Bink were to drop in the middle of festivities, nobody here would have had the means or expertise to learn what hit him. Tell me, Mr. Tag, if I were to summon someone competent from Escalia, what would I find? Come on, answer him. Defend yourself. Yes. What did you say? You're right, Sir Lauren. I did want to poison Bink. Oh, gasp, are you so surprised? Gods. I may be a wimp, but I know injustice when I see it. This land would be worth jack shit if it wasn't for my family. My lifeblood. We're worth trying to kill a man in cold blood? Can't condone do murder, Mr. Tag. Oh, Tag dropped off the list. You have to answer for that one way or another. I'll see to you that you do. But first, we have one more thing to settle. Right. You made a dozed off. How that human drama, you know? Ball's in your core, Mr. Bink. Time to settle things between you and Mr. Bakari. Okay. You just witnessed me to be wise to antagonize any more of your neighbors. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah, we need to settle with him, too. Let's just be reasonable. Bakari liked that. Any wishes in particular? You know what I want, but I'm open to suggestions. Yes, peace and quiet. Right. Well, I imagine you'd like some way of enforcing that. I want to guarantee you won't turn us into an afternoon buffet. I'd laugh, but it's really gotten old. Also, I'm not in the mood. Don't waste my good with our dragon. Calm down, people. Let's approach this nice and slowly. Anything specific? We're in agreement between yourselves that we have a clear set of rules. I kind of like that. What portion of the land around the cave give ownership, Mr. Bakari? Let him do as he pleases. Yeah, he only needs the cave, right? We didn't like that, but... The sound of that, help me by putting a nice fence and a warning sign. Land out or dragon. Aside from the inherent insanity of the idea, I won't lie, I'm not too happy about the prospect of splitting what's legally mine. Is it worth it? Hmm. You're up above, man. Keep it there. He agreed. Alright. Meeting adjourned. Shit, that was difficult. Cause And it wasn't Bink that was the problem, it was Tag. Holy smokes and a half. All right, well, that did that. We're done. <sighs> now that everyone has left and we can talk, that went uncharacteristically well, don't you think? Only took six tries. You can say that again, young master. Truth be told, I was honestly amazed by how you handled this ordeal. A satisfying conclusion without bloodshed? I just didn't think them hitting each other would do any side any good. Your father would be proud. I... Thank you, Griffith. Hey guys, I, uh, I just wanted to say that I'm thankful for what you've done. For smelly, squishy, noisy humans, you're alright. Don't mention it. By the way, your smell, it's different than what I remember, but you mentioned you were of House Lauren, right? What of it? 
Nothing. I just thought, well, aren't you fellows supposed to be dead? Huh? I knew a Lauren once. Upstanding chap, all regal, all diplomatic. Eyes like bronze, words like silver. That sort of thing. Funny that it was you who came to broker an agreement. He would have done just the same. Can you tell me anything more about that Lauren? His name was Elrin Elrond. Something like that. In my youth, I was a brazen, hot-headed lizard. People feared me, but he didn't. He offered me a place to stay. This place, in exchange for a share of my old hoard. And before you ask, no, I don't possess that hoard anymore. It wasn't much, but as I recall, he was desperate. Something about paying off a debt incurred by his idiotic ancestor. That sounds oddly familiar. He wanted to use that gold to marry into a wealthy clan from the land of Arlen and go all robber baron on their precious resources, and he almost made it happen. Ironically, he died at sea while traveling to meet his would-be bride. They never secured the deal. What happened? I do not know for sure, though I remember hearing stories about a storm of the century. Poor Sod must have paddled right into it. <laughs> Destiny is one terrible tragedian. So, did you guys ever pay off that debt? To be honest, we were really hoping you could help us with that. Sins of the past still haunting the present. Poor, poor humans. All waxing poetic aside, I'm afraid I can't help you. I know nothing about your debt. Damn. However, I do know he was planning to visit his summer estate afterwards. Said he needed to show his ancestor's most prized possession to his brand new wife. A summer estate? Lady Elaine and Lady Gwendolyn have never found anything pertaining to a summer estate. Most prized possessions? Perhaps this is where the treasure vault was built. Sir Bakuri, do you know the location? Uh, sorry, boss. We'll have to investigate on our own then. You have our greatest thanks, noble Sir Bakuri. Good luck, little humans. All right, we have a lead. That's something. And that'll do it for me. Thank you for watching. This has been Regalia of Men and Monarchs on PC Universe, your PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.